Hi everybody, welcome to my fish vlog. This is Victoria. Welcome to my 75 gallon tank. So today I want to talk about, um, yes, I usually do a head count in the morning to make sure that all my fish have survived the long dark night. And yeah, so this morning, unfortunately, I lost a rummy nose. Um, uh, when, I, when I was doing my head count, I only counted nine when I should have ten. You can see them swimming down there right now. Sorry, my fingers, I'm such a pro. You can see them swimming around right now in a group. So they're quite easy to count. So if there's ever a straggler or a number missing, I know. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. So I started hunting for the bodies this morning and when I found it, it was yeah, it was, there was a hole on the side, so I don't know what happened. Um, did it get attacked by one of my fish? Um, I've been, I feed them daily, so they shouldn't be hungry. Um, I usually give them flakes for the fish that swims more at the higher levels, and I give them the sinking pellets for my Corydoras and for my Plecos. And even for the sinking pellets, I usually give them two types, the veggie ones and one that's like brine shrimp. So they shouldn't be lacking any protein. I hope not. Please don't eat more of my fish. Yeah. So I started observing them a lot this morning to make sure they're okay. And that it's not some kind of bacterial infection that I need to be concerned about, so, and, yeah, I found that I have a very lazy rummy nose somewhere, so if you can't count it, I think I only have eight of them there, or I should have nine, so, you see them swimming back and forth, back and forth, and then I have this one lazy rummy, yes, that lazy rummy nose, where are you? Which one are you? It's the one that stayed behind you. What's wrong with you? So I don't know. Is he sick? Or is it just being rebellious and not want to swim in school? Because I read that, um, wait, where do you go? Yeah. I read that if you don't, if the schooling fish don't stay in a school that they might be not feeling that swell health wise and or is just that comfortable in my tank that it doesn't mind being alone you know because usually fish like these tetras they group together when they're big fish in the tank so if they don't feel any threat or, you know, they don't need safety, they will swim by themselves and they don't really school as often. So I don't know. Where did I go again? See, I'm always looking for him. It's so hard to look for that one that just... Right here. Yeah, see? What are you doing here? Everybody's over there. What are you doing here? Where do you go? Don't run away from me. Right there. I know where you are. Yes, not creepy at all. But yeah, see, I don't get it. It looks like his fin is twitching. I actually, I don't even know if it's a he or a she. But the fins are twitching. But if it wants to, it can still swim with the, with the group when it feels like it. So I don't know. Are you sick? Should I quarantine you? Should I put you somewhere else? Yeah. Let me know. Other than that, all my other fish seems to be doing well.
Okay, next topic. So, this morning I was also looking at my red honey gouramis and I'm trying to sex them, trying to tell if they're male or female, what did I have? I think that one, you are a female. Because her top fin is kind of rounded and it's kind of short. And you back there. Yes, you. You playing with the bubbles. Where do you go? You're right there. <laughs> you, I think you're a male because your back fin is pointy and it's very long. And are you more red than the other fish? Yeah, so I believe I have two females to one male. Because see, this one and these two, their fins are rounded. And that one is pointy. Yeah, so if you know how to sex them, did I guess them right? Oh, you're swimming so fast. Let's see, that one is a male. The one on the top. The one swimming up and down, up and down. Yes, that one. That one's a male, and that one, this one, is a female. Where's your other friend? I cannot find them. Sorry. Yep. So exciting. So very exciting. Sorry, looking at them is just so calming, so it makes me think slower too. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, so yesterday I told my friend that I bought new fish and I was telling her, should I get more? Should I go get that Congo Tetra that I really want? Should I increase the number of my rummy nose and my neons? And she yelled at me. She was like, you don't want them to get ammonia poisoning. You don't want to stress them out with an over, um, you know, like a overcrowded tank. You know, you need to worry about the safety of your fish first. And I think she is right. Usually, I am a very impulsive buyer. When I feel like it, I go buy it. I am blessed that way. I guess you can say that. Yeah, so because I lost one this morning, I am just going to be patient. I'm going to be, yeah, I'll be a good fish owner. I will, I will make sure you're all safe before I buy other fish. So this is my blog for today. Yes, thanks for listening to me so long. I wish I can play some kind of very relaxing background music while you look at my fish but I don't know I don't know how to figure that out yet and plus I don't want to get like copyright infringement lawsuits from YouTube yet so we'll see <laughs> all right well let me know do should I quarantine that straggler should I just let leave him alone i don't know let me know thanks guys